In the vast tapestry of cinematic history, certain films stand as timeless pillars, etching their stories into the collective consciousness. Among them, the year 1960 gifted us with a masterpiece that remains as enthralling today as it was on its first mesmerizing dance upon the silver screen, The Magnificent Seven. Close your eyes for a moment and let your mind drift back to that initial encounter. Can you feel the anticipation, the flicker of excitement, as the projector word to life and transported you into a world brimming with desperados, valor, and dusty landscapes? Perhaps your memory paints a vivid tableau of those iconic seven figures, each a distinct stroke of character and charisma, converging to defend a defenseless village against the tides of lawlessness. Faces etched with purpose, a symphony of action and camaraderie unfolds, stirring something deep within. Do you remember the palpable tension, the suspense that pulled you to the edge of your seat during the final showdown? The crescendo of emotions as lives hung in the balance, a raw tale of sacrifice and honor laid bare. As we stand on this cinematic precipice, ready to dive into the riveting backstory, let's take a breath and acknowledge the power that The Magnificent Seven holds, a movie that carved its indelible mark into our cultural narrative. Picture those reels rolling, the scenes unfolding, as we delve into some random revelations that might just surprise you. Did you know that the film itself was an adaptation, inspired by Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai? It's a fascinating twist in the annals of artistic influence. So, with a nod to the past and a glint of excitement for the journey ahead, let's traverse the landscape of facts that surround this cinematic gem. From casting anecdotes to unexpected production tales, we're about to unearth some gems that will deepen your appreciation for the film that has transcended generations. Unbreakable bonds on set, the magnificent Seven's unexpected camaraderie in the scorching sun of the Mexican desert. A unique camaraderie flourished among the bandit gang hired to portray Calvera's ruthless posse in the iconic 1960 film, The Magnificent Seven. A little-known tale reveals that Lee Wallach, the actor behind the cunning Calvera, found himself seamlessly embraced by the gang. Each morning, before the cameras rolled, Wallach joined the group in a ritualistic hour-long horseback ride. Clad in his costume, he became one with his fellow riders, bridging the gap between fiction and reality. Notably, this camaraderie extended beyond the saddle. The gang took it upon themselves to ensure Wallach's readiness for action. With meticulous attention, they performed final checks on his horse tack and prop gun, a ritual that spoke volumes about the shared commitment to authenticity. Wallach, an outsider initially, was no longer an actor among extras. He had become an honorary member of the very gang he sought to thwart on screen. The surprising unity on set is the only intriguing facet of the Magnificent Seven. A deeper exploration reveals that Chico, portrayed by actor Horse Butch Halls, is an amalgamation of two characters from the original inspiration, Seven Samurai. The personalities of Katsushiro and Kikuchio, distinct individuals in Kurosawa's masterpiece, were seamlessly woven together to create the charismatic Chico. This creative choice by director John Sturges added a layer of complexity to the character, showcasing the film's endeavor to pay homage while forging its unique identity. As the sun set on the rugged sets of The Magnificent Seven, it left behind a legacy of unexpected bonds formed amid the chaos of production. Lee Wallet's connection with the bandit gang and the ingenious merging of characters underscore the enduring power of collaboration and innovation in filmmaking. In the annals of cinema history, The Magnificent Seven stands not only as a thrilling Western epic but also as a testament to the unpredictable human connections that can flourish in the most unlikely of circumstances. In a race against time, the 1960 classic The Magnificent Seven rode into production, fueled by urgency. The threat of an impending actor's strike loomed large, prompting a scramble to piece together the film's main ensemble before the curtain fell on Hollywood. The cast, a constellation of talent including Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen, was assembled with mere moments to spare. The silver screen's epic clash of good and evil was birthed in haste, with the specter of a strike propelling its creation. Amid this fevered casting effort, an unlikely match emerged for the role of Brit. James Coburn, championed by his comrade Robert Vaughn, secured his place among the seven. Director John Sturges sought a spirit akin to Gary Cooper, and it was Vaughn who extolled Coburn's fit. The stars aligned, birthing a legend in Coburn's rugged portrayal. Yet, the movie's equestrian element harbored its own hidden tale. The old Brenner's mount, Pi, trotted onto the screen with a storied past. This equine star had once borne James Stewart through the annals of Western cinema. A trail of research led to the unearthing of Pi's history, now bridging two icons of the genre. The Magnificent Seven galloped beyond the challenges of its inception, etching its name into film history. An assembly born of necessity, a performance recommended by camaraderie, and a horse that carried the legacy of legends. The movie stands not only as a testament to its own cinematic prowess but also as a reflection of the serendipitous currents that guide the silver screen. In this tale of speed, chance, and equine continuity, The Magnificent Seven captures the essence of Hollywood's whirlwind creativity, unfazed by the ticking clock. And so, with a cast assembled under the gun, a newfound star in Coburn's Brit, and a horse that bridged western worlds, the saga of the Seven continues to gallop through time. 
unveiling the dramatic dynamics behind the Magnificent Seven in the annals of cinematic history. Few films have left an indelible mark like The Magnificent Seven, the 1960 western that redefined the genre. Beyond its iconic tale of seven gunfighters defending a humble village from bandit raids, the movie's backstage anecdotes cast a captivating light on the interplay of personalities that electrified the silver screen. Central to the saga was James Coburn, whose dedication to his role brought an unexpected twist. A devout admirer of Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai, Coburn tapped into his admiration for the original film's Kyuzo, portrayed by Seiji Miyaguchi. Coburn's immersion into Kyuzo's essence lent his own portrayal of the enigmatic Brit a mesmerizing authenticity. The homage went beyond imitation, it became an emblem of cross-cultural cinematic reverence. Amidst this intricate ensemble, a fervent rivalry unfurled, primarily between Yul Brynner and Steve McQueen. Brynner's commanding presence clashed with McQueen's charismatic flair, both vying for the audience's gaze. What was confined to the characters on screen soon echoed behind the scenes. An exhilarating domino effect followed, as their peers in the cast commenced their own audacious antics. The tantalizing tug of war for the spotlight wove its way into the final cut, a testament to their improvisational virtuosity. Yet, this symphony of audacity also played discordant notes. Behind the camera, John Sturges, the director, found himself in a labyrinth of unpredictable theatrics. As the cast's unscripted endeavors spiraled, Sturges grappled to maintain control, navigating the thin line between creative combustion and chaotic unraveling. The cast's zeal, while invigorating, led to an unpredictable landscape that challenged Sturges' directorial mettle, offering both exhilaration and trepidation. In the annals of the Magnificent Seven, the uncharted roads not taken also beckon. George Peppard's journey, once poised to embody Vin, meandered to a different destination, while Gene Wilder's audition marked a crossroads of possibilities. These might have been's conjure a parallel universe where different stars align, leaving an enigmatic trail of what-ifs. The echoes of the Magnificent Seven continue to reverberate. George Peppard's later role in the remake and Gene Wilder's whimsical gunslinger turn in a satirical gem amplify the lingering legacy of this cinematic masterpiece. As the celluloid curtain draws to a close, the saga of the Magnificent Seven unfurls in all its nuanced splendor, a tapestry woven with admiration, rivalry, audacity, and serendipity. From the shrine of Kurosawa's vision to the unscripted theatrics of its American reimagining, the film etches its mark as a mosaic of inspired storytelling and behind-the-scenes drama. In the 1960 film The Magnificent Seven, one behind-the-scenes incident left an unexpected mark on the production. Horst Butchhals, who portrayed Chico, found himself in an unusual predicament. While handling a firearm loaded with blanks, Butchhals accidentally discharged the weapon, striking himself in the leg. Fortunately, the rounds were blanks, but the forceful shot still raised a welt on his leg. This incident serves as a testament to the unpredictable nature of filmmaking, even in controlled environments. Billy Wallach's attention to detail in his portrayal of his character, Calvara, extended beyond scripted lines. Observant viewers might notice a unique trait whenever Wallach handles his gun on screen. Each time he holsters the weapon, he deliberately gazes downward. This quirky action stemmed from Wallach's desire to avoid any mishaps while holstering the gun. Unaccustomed to such actions, he aimed to sidestep any embarrassment of fumbling the holster, as he later candidly admitted in a DVD documentary. This idiosyncrasy further adds to the layers of depth that Wallach brought to his role. However, not all aspects of the film's production were smooth sailing. Screenwriter Walter Newman found himself at odds with director John Sturges over the treatment of certain scenes and dialogue. His frustration escalated when Sturges reassigned some of Yul Brynner's meticulously crafted character-driven lines to actors Steve McQueen and Charles Bronson. Incensed by the alterations, Newman demanded his name be struck from the credits. Despite this conflict, fate had other plans for their collaboration. Just a few years later, Newman and Sturges reconciled to co-create The Great Escape, proving that even artistic differences can evolve into creative partnerships. In the grand tapestry of filmmaking, The Magnificent Seven stands as a testament to the convergence of unforeseen incidents, meticulous attention to detail, and the ever-evolving dynamics between creative minds. Each anecdote contributes to the legend of a cinematic classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. As the sun sets on this cinematic journey through the rugged plains of nostalgia, we find ourselves tethered to the legacy of The Magnificent Seven, a tale that dared to capture the essence of valor and camaraderie against a backdrop of untamed frontiers. Every frame whispers echoes of a bygone era, inviting us to linger in the sepia-tinted tapestry of courage and honor. Perhaps you've walked alongside these seven unlikely heroes, felt the weight of their burdens, and rejoiced in their triumphs. Or maybe the silver screen first whispered this tale to you in a quiet moment, etching memories that endure like the enduring bond between these warriors. The dust kicked up by galloping hoof seems to settle in the corners of our minds, leaving an indelible mark that defies the passage of time. So, let us pause and reflect. How did the Magnificent Seven weave itself into the fabric of your cinematic journey? Did it ignite a spark of adventure or strike a chord of empathy? 
What lessons from Chico, Chris, Vin, and the rest have you carried forth into your own narratives? Share your reflections and stories, as they are the threads that keep this vibrant tapestry alive. As the credits roll on this moment of contemplation, we extend our gratitude for your time and your connection to this classic masterpiece. Your thoughts and memories breathe life into its ageless narrative, allowing it to ride boldly through the pages of history and the corridors of our hearts. And with that, we bid adieu, knowing that the spirit of the magnificent seven lives on within you, a testament to the power of storytelling that transcends generations.